What is up, guys? Welcome back. Yesterday, got a wee little bit exciting. <laughs> very, very quickly. Good morning, babies. Hi, Marmar. Proceed with caution. The wannabe queen weenie is in the way. Mama? Mom, come on. Come on, baby. Get out of here. I, I've spent most of the night debating amongst myself. <laughs> it's an actual, actual statement. Um, how I want to do the videos today. I have food cups out here because... Now I have baby boys, which would be Marmar and Mr. Snow, wherever he wherever he went. Mr. Snow. And then I have Javi and Frappuccino in, I'm just calling out the kid stall. That's where we're going to house all of the, the babies, the, the kid share babies, the bigger babies. These guys actually already are getting ready to be separated from mom at night for uh, kid sharing. These little beauties. Introducing Frosty Mom. <laughs> Come on, puppy. Come on, Ro. Bring her out, Ronan. Hi, Queen Puff. Miss Ronan. Uh, for the record, Zeus. Mr. Zeus will just lay here until he feels like doing whatever. He will not be bullied by these big goats. I mean, we did name him Zeus. It's like, I'm not a coward. I'm gonna... What's up, big guy? <laughs> Good morning. So we have Frosty Mom in there. We currently have Mooney there. Babies. Mississippi, a.k.a. Gooch. Gucci is in there. I've actually been housing Gingy and... Strews together. Strews is in there. Housing these two together because she's calm and doesn't eat her food and she's calm and doesn't eat her food. So this is turned into a nice scenario there. I have Tick in here and Moach with Teen Squad and also Sparkle Moms. I know everybody wants to get right into babies. What I was saying is I, I'm... I've kind of decided I, I'm not going to show you guys uh, Mississippi babies today. And I know that's going to ruffle a bunch of feathers, and that's fine. I'm only doing it because I really want to give... One, I want to show you guys everybody, as we do every day. We want to, we want to show you all the mamas and all the babies and all the mamas-to-be. And uh, She's probably like 14 days out, 21 days out. Sparkles, chocolate sparkle is due on the 10th or the 11th of April, and Tic Tac is due on the 10th or 11th of April. Well, hello. <laughs> Zoom. Hi. This is Baby Snickers. So you guys can see how just phenomenal they're doing now. Uh, Ging is up and out and eating, and she's just back to normal Gingy. I think she must have had some sort of low-grade infection because the antibiotics really... Perked her right up, got her going, got her moving. Do you sense the presence of babies? Now she's feeding the babies. I'm still feeding her off on some uh, sugar pies milk, so she's getting, depends on the situation, you know, at least uh, 32 ounces of milk a day. She just sat and didn't eat for quite a, quite a while. And she's a bit, she's a bit bony, so we're getting some meat back on her. Poo looks good. Babies look phenomenal. Big Red! What's up, Big Red? <laughs> Betty Boop. I think Mom is actually, uh... Mom is actually leaning towards possibly keeping little boops there. It is a, it is a long, slow conversation, and... Once we decide to keep a goat, guys, we, you know, we pretty much keep them forever, generally. So we want to wanna make sure we're doing the right thing. A lot to do with breeding lines and how we want to breed and who we want to breed to. 
So a lot of factors go into that. Obviously we like the, the flashy beauties, but with her being a chocolate chamoise, this is a this is a standard issue chamoise. She is red to brown and then black dorsal stripe, black underbelly, legs, tail area, muzzle. Even her brothers are standard issue uh, chamoise. And so you can see where she's chocolate and they're black. The lighting's not helping a lot. Before we get into moms, I'm going to go around babies real quick. I'm getting a lot of requests for tell us which babies are which. How do you do it? How do you memorize all the baby names every year? It's pretty easy. When they're born, I talk about them a lot. We name them so we know who they are. It's easy to give them a name and just keep talking about that name and using their name. And then you they kind of memorize who they are. So Big Red is Ginger's boy. He's the biggest. And he's very, he's not red. He's not a true red goat. Uh, if you want to go look at Danelle's goat, she is a true red. I can't remember her name. It just left my brain. She is actually red. She looks red. I just call him Big Red because his mom is tinging on the red spectrum. And so is he. he. He nearly matches her perfectly. So that's Big Red. And then Baby Snickers because he looks just like his daddy. And then Betty Boop who we just call Boops. <laughs> Can I see your disc budding? It looks good, buddy. Looking good. So they all kind of look the same, that family there. So it's Big Red, Baby Snickers, and Betty Boop. And then you have Frosty Mom's babes, Ronan, because she is the most beautiful Ronan baby. Oh, perhaps, perhaps you're about to see a baby that might, might rival you in the Ronin category, my friend. Uh-huh. <laughs> so baby Ronan. Zeus, glow in the dark. Looks like a cloud. Silver, pure silver and white. And then Cream Puff. And Cream Puff is their sister and she came out brownish. <laughs> this is like a Cream Puff. So Zeus, Ronan, Cream Puff. And then you have, so that's six. And the two easy ones, because they were the first ones, is Java, the black, and Frappuccino, the Frappuccino, looking baby. <laughs> so that's the eight babies. I know, I hear you in there. Um, that's your sister, thanks. Can we not do that? Yeah, they get real humpy right out of the gate, guys. Ooh, we're gonna go low, what do you think? What do you think, Miss Puddin? We're gonna go low. Good morning, mom. <laughs> All right. So this is Moon Pie, AKA Mooney or Moon. She has an M on her side, which helps you remember who she is. She's kind of a standoffish goat. She, she's not, I don't want, I shouldn't say standoffish. She's a good girl. She's not violent or anything, but she doesn't really, She's not a big fan of the come and pet me. She's very independent. They're fine, mommy. She is an exceptional mother. If you guys remember back last year, hi. She is Gizmo's mama. She had three last year. Uh, one was, I'm not sure if it got stepped on or it got torn in half coming out, but basically it was ripped from here all the way around, right in that very sensitive bow area. The other one was just uh, dead. We didn't miss her kidding. So a little stillborn situation there. And then we had Gizmo, who I would have sworn wouldn't have made it a week. But Miss Lisa, who loved him so much and reached out to me right away and said, I really want Mr. Gizmo. And he just boom and thrived and grew up and just, he is an amazing and, and beautiful goat. And she takes amazing care of her babies. And you, <laughs> you give me strong gizmo vibes, my friend. I have, we haven't named them yet, guys. Uh, I'll show you here. Let's let's just go into the little bit of video I caught. Well, you're narrating, so have at. <coughs> what we got? Besides, number one, number two. Number one, number two. <gasps> Look at little baby cookie. <laughs> I have 
have not checked to see oh if it was Oh my seat. goodness. <gasps> oh shit. Dude. I think it might be cold, like beautiful. What's this, pure black with a little Only bit of frost? Pure black, a little bit of frost, tiny, tiny wisp of a white pole. Not much, a tiny wisp. This is one to eat since like <laughs> the minute it came out. Oh, excuse you. White hooves. <laughs> Oh, I'm in the, I'm sorry. I'm in the clean zone. She's okay. Well, switch them. This one is very clean. This one needs to be clean. Oh, that one needs to be clean. Yeah, I know, Mom. Now, this one you're going to smash right up into the wall. Better or worse than into the wall. Well, I would just focus on babies. Yeah. Uh. Trying to I think it's a male tenders. Oh, the ornaments. Yep, and this is gonna be a boy too. Well, boo. You're ruining. Boy. You're ruining the percentage uh, yeah, the that ratio. we had. The ratio that we had <laughs> going on. Let's do the official. <coughs> yep, yep, ornaments for ornaments sure. And yeah. ornaments. Yep. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, Mom. One more push. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Come on. Nice head. Legs, it's everything, huh? Everything, but it's got like 16 sacks on it. Yeah, these things happen. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Come here, baby. <laughs> Come here, baby. Oh, shoot, honey, there's another one. I think the last thing I got on camera was you saying, there's one more. But it was literally when Hi. this one came out, this one's feet came out at the same time. Oh. So this one came out, and this one's feet were already out. Okay, well, things got real. Things got real. Real, real. Real, real. You got any more? <laughs> I hope not. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Just from what I can see, the puddle I can see from here, but. Well, it's all just like, what? like there's no real placenta over oh. here yet. Do you want to have quince for your uh, second Let's freshening? Let's not. Let's, can we not? No, nobody Last wants... year was her actual first freshening, right? Last, yeah, she had triplets okay. her first freshening. Well, guys, let us get everything dried off, and then we'll yeah. bring you back the cute little so babies. So we got four. We got four, one. and we're thinking we're hoping we know we're we have two boys. We'll see what the other two are. Shoot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, the good news is four healthy babies. Four healthy baby boys. <laughs> the bad news for the ratio is four, what'd you say? Healthy baby boys. Healthy baby boys. <laughs> four little bouncy baby boys. It's kind of funny if you look at the, you got a little, okay, so if you went this way, you'd say a little, a little pole, nothing else, a little pole with some frost. A bigger pole with frost and some white, and this. <laughs> oh, very aggressive mom talking. She was talking aggressively for at least an hour before they were there, so. Oh, she the one you said started screaming before you left over she here? She was, no, she was screaming because she heard other babies scream. Mm, so she thought she had maybe, who she knows? Knew, she, well, she knew what was happening, right? Yeah. She knew what was happening, and she heard other babies screaming. And... So, after a long night, <sighs> And then a long day, we went to eat dinner. <laughs> I was gone for half an hour. 30 minutes. But you came back perfect timing. Just as number one was bubbling. Number one was coming out. We're getting better at the comeback. We are. We're getting better at the timing. Scarf and run. I knew. I told you. I said, she's going to lay down a bush any minute. Yep, you did. I did not plan for her to go first. Nope. Last one. This one's last one. That one's last? That's number two. Yeah, that was number two. One, two, one and two, three, four. Three, four. Now. Why is number three so tiny? I don't know. Why are you so tiny, number three? Uh, Blue-eyed. Uh, possibly not blue-eyed. You are teeny. Why are you so teeny? He's a uh, beauty, though. A lot of groaning on the legs. Some interesting groaning mm -hmm. on the legs. Well, I mean, look at little Roni. She's a latte baby, too, so. I, I, sweetheart, I am not your mom. Your mom's over there. Look at him looking at me. I'm not your mommy baby. This is going to be a complicated. Have we ever had a mom feed four babies? Yeah. Muffins had quads. Uh, sprinkles had quads. 
But she's got the udder for it, that's for sure. Mm, she does. Well, that explains. Oh, she's standing on his foot, mommy. Um, that also kind of helps explain the size of her udder, too, right? She mm -hmm. had four bucklings. That's a lot of milk to feed four bucklings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they tend to eat a teeny bit more. He does look like a little ronin. This one. So maybe latte still in the ronin? I'm thinking so, based on ronin. Interesting. And when he gets completely dry. Why do you keep looking at me, cuteness? <laughs> Okay, we had set these guys up for 24 hours on baby watch and there was nothing and you guys saw I let them out yesterday morning and there was nothing and then H got real skeptical yesterday and she's like, I'm putting them both in stalls. And so we did that and then we sat around for four or five hours, went and ate dinner and she got that vibe. She's like, I gotta go back over there right now. And she came over here and when she got here, uh, mama was bubbling. What we call bubbling is when they start pushing the baby out. It looks like a little bubble and they come out in the sack. So she sent me the text, bubbling, everything is okay. So I finished eating and then I came over and I don't know which baby we were on. I'll know after I edit the video in here, but for now I'm going to say I don't remember who was first, second, third. I know, I'm pretty sure that one was first. And then this... Wee man. Hi, wee man. Good morning. Was number three. He somehow came out in between all these big old goats. Here's a video of me last night, guys. He's fine. He can't fly. I'm holding him. He's fine. <laughs> Give him <mom> a kiss. <laughs> Two pounds, guys. That's all he weighs. He's so tiny. But he is two pounds. He is two whole pounds. And then I weighed one of these boys, and they're four pounds. So looking at their size, weight, shape, probably all right around that four-pound mark. 3.8 pounds is what they were. So looking at them, they're probably right around four pounds each, and then this one's two pounds. And if you're not giving Ronan a run for her money, then I don't know who would. Nobody else. Because you are absolutely stunning. You got it all going on, big guy. <laughs> you got your little wobble. <laughs> so I have been... Hi, beautiful. Good morning. Maybe we'll call you Aries. All boys, by the way, if you didn't catch that. Uh... <laughs> All boys, four little bucklings. I don't even know who has blue eyes, who has brown eyes. Are you blue eyed? No, you are brown eyed. Brown, blue, mm, blue. So blue eyed, blue eyed, probably brown eyed, brown eyed, brown eyed. But wow, wow. Wow, you are a stunner. So we know Latte carries black and Couclair, and she is only black. She carries black. She is black, so she has two black jeans. And we got a good roaned baby from Frosty Mom, so we're thinking maybe Mama Frosty carries roaning as well, and or possibly Latte carries some roan, which he could have gotten from his dad quite easily. Uh, so we're just wondering where the roaning's coming from. She is roaned which is this ticking pattern in the fur. You see that white? It doesn't always have to be white. It's just a color interrupting their their solid color or pattern. It's typically white, but... Uh, so these are the babies, guys. And again, I'm just... I just want to... I just... I don't want to cram all the babies and all the kidding video into one video because I want to give them each their... their due time. So I'm just going to focus on these guys today, and then we'll get to Mississippi tomorrow. But I, she, I mean, I don't know. She didn't look like a four-pack was in there. I do worry about this little guy. Hi. Let me check your, okay, no, you look good. 
We did give him a little bit of selenium and vitamin E gel because he was hyperextending some of his joints. Probably due to the fact that you didn't really want to come out for another few days, huh? <laughs> you are stunning. Okay, how do we do it? Okay, let's do it like this. This little guy got a teeny dip of black on the top of his head. And then he's got a little bit of frost on the just the tips of his ears. I don't think he has any butt frost. No butt frost. And then a little bit of muzzle frost. So technically he is frosted, for sure. And then this guy... Hi, can you stand up? Can we see your size? <laughs> We'll come over here. Look at you. Look at you, beauty. So he's got that little bit of frost. And then we go further down the rabbit hole here. We got this one who has good fro muzzle frost, a tiny bit top of white there, frosting on the ears. You can see he's fully, I don't know if, it, I don't know if you can see actually, but he is roaned throughout his entire body. Trying to get up under his neck there. You can see some roaning in there. His tail, he's actually nice frost on the back, but it's roaned as well. And and then we have, where are you, Hider? Hide and go seek, huh? And then we have this man, with baby cookie. <laughs> Can't call you baby cookie because you're a boy. Yes, look at you. Oh, did I scare you? I'm sorry. Uh, he got oh, he got the mama pack there. He's just black. You can see he's gonna have actually some spotting underneath of there. That'll probably it might come out or it might get fully covered by the white. Can I see your little face? <laughs> Look at your little face. <laughs> yes. Hi, blue eyes. <laughs> So this one's pure black. Uh, you wouldn't be able to tell if, if they had the frost or the, if he had the frost or the ronin because it'd be covered by the white. So since we know Latte carries black, we know all of these babies are black with frost. Actually, uh, Latte's dad was Jack. Jack was a black goat with Swiss and frost. Potentially roan. One of these little guys, Lisa, if you remember, uh, Giz had this wiry, wavy, because she does. Her hair is very wavy and wiry looking like this. He's got it on his little butt right there. Okay. Hi. <laughs> so we have some real beauties. It's like the printer ran out of ink or something. I don't know. Or started black and... Then you add a little, add a little more, and then, and then you turned out all white. Can't call you cowboy. We had a cowboy once. Hi. But this guy. Oh, look at you, beauty. Yep. Yep, gonna be brown-eyed. Oh, is it playtime already? Been keeping a very, very good eye on this one, and he's been eating like crazy. Uh, got him on four or five times yesterday before I left over here and then came back over about every hour and checked. And every time I came over here, he was on teat. And actually, when I walked in this morning, he was on teat. So it's good to see. She is built for four babies. Piece of cake. That's not a problem at all. The problem will be him getting bullied off of the teat so that the other three big guys can eat. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you're so tiny. You're raring to go, huh? It's been almost 24 hours. You should be. Okay, guys, this is going to get very, very long, which is another reason I didn't want to cram two videos together is the length of video. Hi. <laughs> so, more babies. Beautiful, beautiful babies. And she is just a helicopter mom, so no, she's going to be a solid mom. She is built for feeding four babies like you would not believe. A little messy in the back there, but not bad, actually. Pretty pretty decent. But that udder, she's got amazing attachment. She's got amazing capacity. 
if you guys remember back last year when I started milking her, I was like, oh, well, I cannot wait. Because last year she was a first freshener. So it was the first time she ever kitted, first time she'd ever been milked. And I was just, I was waiting for this year because I was so excited about the, her potential for milking. And she is not disappointing. And with four boys on her, four boys on her, there's a difference. The dainty little girls tend to not eat as much. But you get four boys on there, whew, she's going to be producing milk like mad. You Are you smart eyeing someone outside the, yeah, looks like Twink's over there. She's like, come near my babies, see if I don't murder you. <laughs> I love, they always want to eat the beard. So, that <laughs> is the Moon Pie Passel, and it is not disappointing at all. Hello, beautiful. Oh, da 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 da. Are you blue eyed? He is blue eyed. You got all the beauties, huh? Got the blue eyed, the Ronin, the just rich black. Look at this height difference. Look at this little thing. I'll just stand you amongst your brothers. <laughs> what? Oh, grumpy. Oh, grumpy man. Alright, so I'm going to get him on teat just to make sure I see it happen before I leave. And Mama, you, as always, did an amazing job.